I'm Arlene Mariotti, and I'm a retired teacher. I have a PhD in education. Uh, and I started doing uh, art at senior centers uh, after my retirement. And I took up art, and I started to enjoy it. And I thought, why not blend it uh, with my teaching? And so I now come to about five different um, assisted living facilities and uh, teach the residents to, how to paint with acrylics. I've been at Brookdale the longest. It's been a, li a little over a year. and. Um, uh, some other places I've been, uh, well, about eight months. So I, I enjoy coming here. I enjoy coming to all of the places that I go to because I, for me, it's also a challenge to think about what they have to paint. That for me is also a creative activity. I actually have to create the painting and do it and see how they are best, uh, how best to teach it for them to actually produce it. So coming here, always a challenge for me, um, but very gratifying when I leave. One of the things that I like to do is have a reference painting. So I'll do it also, I'll paint it, and also have a picture that they can look at very close to them so that they can see it. Again, it's their vision that might interfere with being able to see something that's far away. Um, many times, I didn't today, but many times I demonstrate how I want them to paint. Do I want them to use a broad brush stroke? I also talk about um, the type of brush over the years, I also learned to find these small little palettes um, for them. And because one of the things I've noticed is that if I use like a white paper plate, white blends into the paper plate and they can't find it. And so if I use these little palettes that have these um, wells in them, they find them much easier. The other thing I've learned is to make it very simple and then allow them to embellish the painting. So a lot of them um, have vision problems, be it cataracts or anything else, uh, just aging, you know, in terms of their vision. And, um, you know, and I've learned to draw for them with a permanent marker. And so I can't just put a pencil drawing, but I can make a permanent marker and it'll outline it for them. And what I've noticed is that they can now stay in the line. So again, their, their eye-hand coordination is improving greatly. So those are simple techniques, uh, I think, that would help, help the senior citizens, you know, get a, a painting that they can enjoy. Uh, we're not looking to be Rembrandt, but I want them to be happy that when they wake up and they look at that in their room, they could say, oh, I did that. I love Brookdale. I think they provide this array of activities uh, that stimulate them mentally. I just love this place because it's so active and it's always ch a choice. You know, you don't have to come to painting today if you don't want to. Um, sometimes I co they come in once and I never see them again. And again, sometimes they come every month. They look forward to it. So, And it doesn't matter whether it's bingo or trivia or exercise. Um, I think it just needs to be offered.